Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. Three decades ago, this area was off limits to foreigners. Today, it is a centerpiece of an international effort to prepare cosmonauts and astronauts for missions to the International Space Station. We are going to see the crew of Expedition 38 and 39 learn to survive after an emergency landing in an ocean. Dan Burbank, a veteran of two space shuttle missions and a stay aboard ISS in 2011, is head of NASA's operations at the Cosmonaut Training Center. Uh, we train a, an awful lot, a, a great deal of time here in Russia. But the training that's going on today, some of the most critical training that we have um, with the Soyuz, is how to respond, how to take care of yourself, save yourself, and be able to safely um, egress a Soyuz if it's landed in the Pacific Ocean or, or the Caspian Sea or someplace like that. In the spacesuit right now, the things they have to do, um, they've entered in a pressure suit, a full space suit called the Sokol. The Soyuz can land, you can be in the water, keep the hatch closed for a period of time, but eventually crew needs to make their way out of the capsule. And uh, we do it kind of in a very me measured phase. We get out of the space suit, the Sokol space suit. Um, underneath that we've got, uh, we've got BLEO, um, a kind of uh, uh, fire retardant uh, uh, long john underwear. So there's multiple layers. They'll end up with about four or five layers. The very last layer to go on is called the Pharrell, and that is a waterproof, almost like a, it's a made out of a neoprene rubber. It's very hot, it's very difficult, it's very complicated to work inside. It's one of the biggest, the bigger tests that we have in the way of, uh, of, um, of crew coordination and teamwork. Once they get out of the capsule, they'll have with them uh, signaling devices, they'll have water and food, they'll go through the exercises of how to, how to use those and how to use them safely. <laughs> I did learn the Russian language. Um, well, I think as a person who only spoke one language for most of their lives, um, for me, rocket science is much less complicated than, than Russian grammar is and, and Russian vocabulary. So the training for a Soyuz flight is different and more challenging for me than training for a space shuttle mission in that there's this added component of the complexity of the language and so forth. So we, the language we use in, uh, for spacecraft is very technically oriented. It's almost a third language. You have English, you have Russian, then you have um, a technical version that's sometimes a combination of the English and Russian.